So about a couple of months ago, Eric W. Schwartz uh, decided to create a new uh, storyline for his Sabrina Online um, web series that he's been doing since the early to mid 1990s. And this one, of course, is called Stripes and Links. Now, I've talked about this before uh, when it first happened. And I have to say that so far, what I've been reading, along with everybody else, I think is tremendous. I think it's a great, I guess you could say, um, what, what's the word? Hold on. It's a great, I guess it's a popular word being used nowadays, pivot from what you would not normally see in a Sabrina uh, web series or web comic. Because basically, in case you guys don't know and you need a little catching up, uh, what happens here is that uh, Zigzag in Indora, and that's spelled E-N-D-O-R-A, Indora, who is Sabrina's mom, uh, went out to a bar. They're having like a girls' night out, if you will. You know, just chilling, you know, talking to jizz, if you will. And what happens is both are getting a little tipsy, you know, from drinking, you know, Zig more than anything. And Endora asks her a question, and Zig answers it honestly, and that's a notification if you heard anything. I do apologize for that. I do apologize for that notification there. But anyway, if you heard anything. Uh, but anyway, uh, Endora asks Zigzag a question about, I guess, you know, her beauty, you know, how she looks and all that. And Zig answers, you know, very honestly, very openly, honestly, that, hey, you're still good looking and all that, right? You know, just being, you know, just giving her a friendly answer. But then Zig, Zigzag takes it a step further and she ends up kissing Indora on, um, on the lips. You know, she ends up kissing her on the lips. And what's interesting about this, what's interesting about this is it's Zigzag that pulls away realizing what she just did and she's like oh oh i'm so sorry i i shouldn't have done that and yet you have indora just standing there and you know she's standing there in stunned silence like you know she can't believe what just happened but she, but what's interesting is she doesn't pull away you know she doesn't pull away and all that and you know, what she does do, though, is she decides she's going to, you know, head home. And Zigzag saying, hey, look, I can call you an Uber. I can, you know, call you Lyft, call you a Lyft. And she's like, no, no, I'll get my husband. And Endora's like, no, 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 I'll get my husband. I'm, I'm fine. Because she's still, you can tell Endora is still processing what, what, what just happened, right? So her husband, Sabrina's dad, comes and picks her up wondering what happened and you know she doesn't want to talk about it for a second then she starts kind of talking about it a little bit and then she kind of shuts down and been like you know what not going to talk about it so she's kind of like she wants to talk about it but then she's like no so you can tell there's something there but we don't know what it could be just yet we don't know what it could be just yet um anyway zigzag of course feeling stupid for what she does Heads home, where you know, heads back to her house, who she's sharing with her bisexual uh, lesbian lover, uh, Tracy. Uh, not Tracy, but state whatever her name name is. Uh, uh, Tina, Tina, that's what it is. Uh, bisexual lesbian lover Tina, who's a lynx, if you will. Well, not the kind of lynx style design like N Nicole and Archie Sonic has, but anyway, she goes and she, you know she goes home and everything to Tina. And she kind of explains a little bit of what she just did. And she realizes, you know what? I'm going to have to deal with this at work eventually. I'm going to have to confront this at work, right? Because she knows, basically, uh, Endora's parents, maybe the dad, is going to let Sabrina know, hey, something happened. So that's exactly what occurs. Sabrina's dad calls her up. Uh, tells her, hey, you know, you might want to talk to Zigzag when you go back to work because something may have happened and we need answers, right? So Sabrina's like, okay, fine, no problem. I'll, I'll figure out what's going on. So Sabrina confronts Zigzag and Zigzag is always, uh, always openly honest with her. 
and everything. And she tells her the truth. She tells her what happens, even admits that it was kind of her fault and everything. And Sabrina, you know, accepts that. She kind of accepts, okay, I get it. You didn't really mean any harm. And just to show, you know, the kind of reaction she would ex- she would have expected out of, out of Endora, uh, Sabrina's mom, she ends up kissing Sabrina right on the lips. And Sabrina just pushes her back saying, hey, Zig, knock it off. You know, knock it off. And Zigzag's like, and Zigzag's response is, see, that's the kind of reaction I expect, you know, out, out of someone like you or out of Endora. You know, that's the kind of reaction I would have expected, you know. And that helps Sabrina understand even more, like, okay, I get it. My, you know, because basically Sabrina, you can kind of tell, is trying to put two and two together. And she's realizing, okay, her reaction differed from what her mom's reaction was, you know. Anyway, Sabrina tells her parents what happened, you know, or tells her dad exactly what occurred and everything. And basically, basically now the next step is trying to, you know, regain that trust and everything that Zigzag at one point had or thought she had with Sabrina's parents. So... You know, Sabrina tells Zigzag she talked to them, explained everything and all that. And then Zigzag, excuse me, and then Zigzag, you know, in the recent one, tries to, in the recent chapters or pages that got uploaded, tries to uh, call them and talk to them herself, but the father is not very happy with her. The father, you know, Endora's husband is not very happy with you know, zigzag and says, you know, it'd be best if we don't talk to you if you don't call us right now or don't talk to us for a while, you know, and that basically, oh, his wife doesn't want to talk to her, period, you know, and that he's not happy, essentially, with, with what occurred, and pretty much, you know, that's it. They hang, you know, you know he hangs up on her. He, hang, he hangs up on zigzag. So in the recent page that got uploaded today, Zigzag goes and talks to Sabrina, who's on her laptop at work, and she explains, "Hey, I talked to your parents, or I tried to talk to your parents, but they didn't want to hear, didn't want to have nothing to do with me. At least, you know. Well, she didn't say, you know, the dad, but basically said she tried to talk to the parents, but they, you know, they didn't want to have nothing to do with her uh, for the time being. And Sabrina surprisingly uh, takes responsibility for that." She says, yeah, I might be partially responsible for that and everything. And Zig's like, well, what am I going to do? How am I going to smooth this over? And Sabrina's like, look, you know, right now, it's, you know, right now, the situation is too current. It's too hot. You know, you need to maybe let things simmer down. You know, and Zig's like, you know, and Zig, you know, she's kind of conflicted, like, She's not sure, you know, even if that would work, right? You know, so Sabrina sees, Sabrina sees, excuse me, Sabrina sees that, you know, it's bothering Zigzag, you know, and she's like, look, next time I talk to my parents, I'll try to see what I can do to try to smooth things out, kind of get you guys back on a discussion, talking, understanding level. And Zigzag then says, that's all I can ask for. Thank you. And then Sabrina's like, hey, don't thank me yet. And, oh, don't thank me yet until I accomplish something. And then the, and then they end, excuse me. And then they end the recent, this recent page that got uploaded today uh, on uh, Patreon. They ended with Zigzag being like, "Uh, you know, I kind of miss the days that I would just lure people into bed and everything instead of all this or instead of dealing with all this relationship cultivation, if you will. And, you know, and Sab- Sabrina has a zing, excuse me, Sabrina has a bit of a zinger at the end, you know, when, you know, Zigzag says that she misses the days of when she used to be able to just lure people into bed, have sex with them, instead of dealing with this whole relationship cultivation stuff, you know, Z- uh, Sabrina has a, a good zinger, a good line at the end. She's like, oh, you're saying those days are gone? <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, but anyway, anyway, that's so far up to date with the more recent page that went on to the Patreon as I uh, get myself some coffee here for a second. 
And that's another notification if you heard a vibration. Another, that's another, again, that's another notification if you heard a vibration there. I do apologize. Uh, but anyway, uh, so far, like I said at the beginning, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. And I think there might be more to this story than what's being let on uh, than what we're already speculating and everything and theorizing as we read page after page. Because when I first talked about this, you know, I kind of alluded to the fact that I think Indora might, might, you know, enjoy, might have enjoyed it, but she's still processing it, you know, you know, she's still, she's still processing it and everything in her mind. And I think what's going to happen, I think what's going to happen, and some people have speculated that this is what's going to kind of break the ice a little bit to kind of get them back on, you know, speaking terms. You know, some people in the comment section on the Patreon page said that, or at least one person said this, that Sabrina could, maybe will bring up Zigzag's past. You know, bring up her, you know, traumatic past she had as a child and everything and what she went through growing up. And then hopefully that'll break the ice and maybe even acknowledge that Zigzag once told her she wished she had parents like Sabrina's. So that could be something that occurs. That could be something that happens, but we'll have to see. We will have to see and everything uh, as the weeks go on. But, excuse me, but to me, to me, I think, honestly, there's going to be more than just, you know, Sabrina possibly bringing that up to try to get them to understand where, you know, why Zigzag is the way she is, why she's very, you know, affectionate and open and kind of, you know, open minded, if you will. And I think what's going to happen as well, and I brought this up as a comment myself on the Patreon page, I think Endor is hiding something. Cause she want, cause here's the thing. She was about to talk about it after her husband picked her picked her up from the bar, but then she stopped. Almost like, almost like she was going to talk about it, but then stopped herself because maybe she was going to say something that she wants to keep hidden, you know, a secret, if you will. And I was theorizing to myself today, kind of speculating to myself today, playing it out in my mind. I'm thinking, okay, what could she be hiding? You know, because I have a feeling, like I said, that might be where we're heading. Like, not only would, you know, Sabrina explain, you know, Zigzag's backstory to them to get them to understand why Zigzag is very affectionate, very open and everything when it comes to who she is. But I also got a feeling that Indora might have some revelations to uh, be let known as time goes on, you know, when, the, you know, with the story, you know, she's got some you know, some baggage, if you will, not negative baggage, but some secretive baggage, you know, some, you know, dark, let's just put it, naughty secrets that she doesn't even want her husband to know about. And I've got a feeling we might get revelations to those as the story goes on. And as I was saying earlier, and as I was saying moments ago, I was, I, you know, this, you know, the, um, earlier this morning, I was speculating, theorizing, you know, playing this out in my running and playing this out through my mind. I've got a feeling what's going to happen is she's going to reveal to everyone that, you know, because I, I, again, I've got a feeling that when Sabrina does open up about Zigzag's past and how Zigzag just always wanted parents like Sabrina's. You know, that's when Indora is going to decide to open up about her past and everything and why, unlike Sabrina or anybody else, she, you know, was in you know, stunned silence after being kissed and why she doesn't really want to talk about it too much because, you know, she'd bring up something that she did, you know, and everything, you know, that's very similar to what, you know, Zigzag does. So I have a feeling, and again, I was playing this out in my mind, I think what's going to happen is Endora is going to meet with everybody. They're going to have a bit of a family meeting. Zigzag is going to be part of it. And what's going to happen is she's going to reveal 
maybe even let her hair down because I got a feeling that might be one way visually she can kind of explain, you know, her, you know, her secret kind of open up about, you know, something she's kept hidden. I've got a feeling Endora is going to reveal that she, when she was about a teenager, you know, in high school, a little older than Tabitha, uh, you know, her daughter Tabitha, Sabrina's sister, she's going to reveal that she used to be a bit of a wild child and a rebel as well. And that as a wild child and a rebel, you know, she used to, you know, go out and party. She used to do things that, you know, uh, her parents would disapprove of and stuff. And I could see that. I could see that being revealed. I can even see, I can even see her, you know, saying that, you know, she did even more of that once she moved out, you know, of her parents' place. And you know, into her own place or into the dorm when she was going to college, she would say, you know, she did even more than that and cross lines that she wouldn't normally cross. Like, she'll even acknowledge, yeah, I even kissed some women and liked it, you know? So I can I can see Endora maybe, maybe revealing that to everybody and at the same time letting her hair down in a way that, as I picture it, it comes down in a very sultry, seductive, like femme fatale look, like it, you know, cascades long, long in the back, you know, like to her shoulders, you know, or at least a little beyond her shoulders. And then one part of it comes down, to, you know, and draping over her, or comes down and drapes over her um, left eye, like I said, in a very seductive, sultry, femme fatale look, which even, which would even like surprise uh, uh, R.C., Richard, Sabrina's husband, and even her dad, and even her husband, you know, Sabrina and Tabitha's dad, you know, I, I could picture that happening to help her explain the situation, you know, and I can even see him trying to break the ice a little bit with a joke by maybe Richard saying, hey, you have that hairstyle, you keep that hairstyle, you might see me and Sabrina over more than, more than often, with Sabrina kind of being like punching him in the shoulder being like, hey, you know, so I, I could see that. I could see that. You know, I could see maybe something like that happening. Maybe even Endora kissing him on the cheek, saying, telling him, uh, you know, telling him, uh, you know, kind of like, uh, you're sweet and everything, or, <laughs> or thanking him, like, you know, for the compliment and then kissing him on the cheek, saying, you're sweet and everything, you know. But I, I, I this, that's just me. That's just me. Because I think, I think honestly, Let's, let's, let's look at it from this perspective, folks. I think a lot of us that have been following this comic for a long time. And ever since Endora, you know, got introduced and ever since she started to, you know, interact with ZigZag, something has always been telling us that this, you know, something more about this character that's not being let on. There's something more about this character that's not being let on. And you wonder, okay, what could it be? What could it be? And I think that's what, and I think that's why Eric wrote Stripes and Links. I think he wants to kind of, you know, develop Zigzag's character even further than what it is with the okay, you know, with the consent of Max Black Rabbit, the person that created Zigzag. Um, he wants to, you know, ev you know evolve her, her character even more into Sabrina's continuity. But I also think he wants to do the same with Endora. It's like he wants to kind of have her be more open about who she is and what she's done in the past and everything. And that maybe there might be a bit, a bit of an attraction between her and Zigzag, but she doesn't want, she never wanted that to be let known because, hey, she's raising Tabitha and all that, you know, still. You know, like Sabrina might be moved out and married and have a kid of her own, but they're still raising Tabitha. You know, so that, you know, that's the one thing that's holding her back. You know, so I, I could see, you know, this story kind of being, you know, kind of doing something very similar to that in many aspects, in many aspects. And I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if maybe, and this is just me, maybe, you know, this takes a page out of what Eric did 
um, in the earlier uh, Sabrina stories. Because uh, because back in some of the um, earlier Sabrina stories, basically when they started to introduce the internet and all that to uh, to the story to help, you know, Zigzag's business and have her, you know, interact with the community, her fans, and maybe even do live webcam shows of the naughty kind, if you will. Um, I could, you know, what happened, I should say, again, I don't want to lose track here, but what happened is it's during that portion of the Sabrina storyline that Zigzag's learning about the internet, she's going online, she's interacting with people, but then all of a sudden her interaction turns very trollish and she starts getting people trolling her with very negative comments and everything. So what she does is she decides to go on a journey, a quest, if you will, to track down some of these trolls, you know, and, and see who they are, you know, and why they said what they said about her. And what this does is it transitions from Eric W. Short's Sabrina um, universe, and it transitions and crosses over to Eric W. Short's Fur After Dark universe. Yeah. It goes from the Sabrina universe where it begins and concludes, you know, it concludes um, in the uh, Fur After Dark uh, universe or Fur After Dark corner of the Sabrina verse. So, yeah, what happens is that she goes on this journey. And one of the first places she goes to is the home of a character that we got introduced to before called Helen Adish. And Helen Adish um, is the mother of one of the trolls. And she's a very, and, and the way they draw her is she's a very young um, M-I-L-F MILF uh, um, woman, if you will. She's a very She's basically drawn to be a very to look uh, to look like a very young, attractive M I L F milf mother, and let's just say she she knows who Zigzag is, and she basically pretty much lets it be known she's attracted to this girl. She's attracted to her. Um, she also opens up to her. Also opens up to Sabrina uh, Zigzag, as you say. She also opens up to her a bit, saying, "Hey, I'm I'm a single mom, you know, you know, I'm I'm divorced. I'm a single mom, and everything." But the divorce and the you know, the divorce was mutual agreed because, hey, you know, he's still part of the, my son's life, you know, the the son that's trolling uh, Zigzag. But she acknowledges that, hey, he was more happier with the uh, secretary. And they saw each other more often. They understood each other better. And that all she wanted was happiness for both of, for him and her because, you know, she understood both the situation. But anyway, she doesn't. But anyway, getting back to what I'm saying, she lets it be known that she's very attracted to Zigzag. And she does this by even kissing Zigzag on, on the lips. And she kind of pulls back and, and all that. So, oh, I'm sorry. And everything shouldn't have done that. And Zig's like, no problem. And then Zig kisses her. And let's just say one thing leads to another. And they end up doing the deed, more so than anything, on her son's bed. You know, on her son's bed, which they do clean up after they do the deed. But the reason I bring this up, and by the way, the story, you know, in the Fur After Dark, in which this takes place in, is called Adventure Begins at Home. Or, or something like that. So I'm not going to link it because I don't want to get in trouble with the YT. Um, anyway, though, anyway, though, uh, I bring this up because I could see maybe, maybe Eric doing something similar here with Zig and, and Endora. I could see him doing something similar with them, but there would be a reason for it. And that reasoning being that Endora who may have kissed women in the past when she was younger, but never went all the way, probably wants to know what it's like to go all the way. And I think that's why we would get a Fur After Dark continuation, if not epilogue conclusion, uh, to the Stripes and Links storyline. 
But that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. You know, could I be wrong about it? Absolutely. But I feel that a lot of things are leading to that point. A lot of things are leading to that point. Uh, but so far, I like what I see. So far, I like what I see, and I can't wait to see even more of what Eric has in store with the storyline. He's also concurrently working um, on uh, another Jane Cottontail uh, storyline as well, which is part of his Fur After Dark series. So if you want to check that out, he's also doing that on his other Patreon, because he has two Patreons, one for Sabrina Online, which has the Sabrina um, Online icon representing it, and then... The other one is his Far After Dark one, which has a slag of the Dinobots as an icon representing that. But they're both under the same name. So if you want to check those out, go ahead. Again, I'm not going to provide any links to them because I don't want to get in trouble, if you know what I mean. But I do recommend tr checking out Stripes and Links. Um, after a week or so, he does post it onto the Sabrina Online webpage. So check it out there. If you can, if you don't want to donate to Patreon, you can check it out there. Um, I think you'll enjoy what you see. And you can come up with your own conclusions as to where you think things are going to be heading in the next uh, couple of uh, weeks, next couple of months, depending on how long this goes. And do you think maybe, you know, maybe um, we might see something similar occur here as a result to where our epilogue conclusion you know, takes place in the fur after dark uh, vicinity uh, corner universe, if you will, continuity of the Sabrina verse. Let me know. But until next time, guys, um, I will talk to you all later, as you may have noticed in the title. Hopefully you helped out in that area. Super chats were open in the live chat during the premiere of this video. And super thanks are open even after the premiere of this video as well. Also, check out my Teespring store for merchandise you can't get anywhere else, as well as the affiliated stores um, as well for merchandise related to the topic I just mentioned. And until next time, guys, eyes, I will talk to you all later. And also you can find also you can find some Sabrina online um, radio dramas or comic dramas and animations here on the YT as well. But until next time, guys. Let me know what your thought. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Do you, again, do you agree with what I said? You know, do you think that might be the next? Do you think some of what I'm predicting might come true? But also, what are your theories? Let me know. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. More content coming later.